what's up YouTube? Welcome to today's video where I'm going to show you how to use this tool to find the perfect timeless jewel and maybe make some complete bank. Now, as you may know, lastly, they actually cracked the timeless jewel. Everything has been cracked. It's like the Da Vinci code. Everything is known now. If you tell me the number, I can tell you exactly what the jewel does as long as you tell me the number and where you want to put it in. Now, Timeless jewels are pretty much cracked. I think someone did the, some reverse engineering algorithm where they figured out some number, which pretty much unlocked everything. It's kind of like a cipher. So an unintended consequence of this timeless jewel change might be because they decided to actually change how divine orbs worked after people cracked it. Now, this is a huge conspiracy theory, but some people do buy into the fact that GGG did decide to change divine orbs so that people can no longer divine orb the timeless jewels and that could be the case but basically timeless jewels are some of the most powerful tools that a build has at its disposal it's great for optimizing your rarity it's great for optimizing your percent attributes and it's just generally great for allowing you to get a bunch of percent double damage so there's some timeless jewels out there that actually has five double damage notes which is 25 percent double damage now at the start it was kind of very rudimentary the tool that we had and if you went on like poe db or something like that the tool was not very good but i think i saw a recent tool that i will be going over today and it's a timeless jewel calculator and this actually lets you look up the best timeless jewels by using weighted mods and not only does it do that it also allows you to have a trade search and you know what you can do with a trade search but once you have a trade search, you can pretty much make infinite money as long as you're at your computer. So we're going to go over step by step how to do the timeless drill, but I'm just going to go over the brief methodology real fast behind it. First, you want to choose your timeless jewel. Then you want to select the mods you want and you want to assign weighting. So if you have like certain mods you want, say you have double damage and you have percent strength, you might value percent strength for double damage more. So you give it a weighting of two, so you value it twice as much as double damage. Now, next up, you have to choose the notables that you're willing to path to, and you want to make sure it is point efficient, and this is very important. Because a lot of times when we look at our passive tree, and we're like, wow, you want to take this note right here. So say I have an elegant hubris, and this is a rarity one. So you're like, oh, can I really take these notes? These are one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. You could technically anoint it. Or something that you're just not pathing to. Like if it was right, right here or something like that. Or something super far. You have to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So those points would just not be really valuable. So you want to choose the right notables so that you're actually making it point efficient. Now afterwards, use the trade link that this thing generates. And you search for the jewels. And make sure to search for different names if you're not taking the keystone. That's something that people don't know what the timeless jewel actually does so the timeless jewel has a number and a number dictates what all these small nodes change into and these notables and the name dictates what this keystone changes into so the name there's four different names for every timeless jewel so it, it changes the keystone to something else completely and this is actually something that added a lot of build diversity into the game and that's what people talk about how the game is not really changing and how GGG is kind of mailing it in every single league because look at how much customizability and build options that Timeless Jewel has actually added into the game. Now, the website that we'll be using is it's called visvilsalt.github.io. And we're gonna do probably one of our favorite Timeless Jewels, which is I think Lethal Pride, right? People love the Lethal Pride. And most people, it doesn't really matter what you choose for the Lethal Pride. But let's go here. So you selected the Lethal Pry. And now you want to select where you want to put the Timeless Jewel slot. So right here, Ranger, right? Everyone loves the Ranger. Now, so we choose Lethal Pry and we want to choose a Random Conqueror. And now we want to select the stats. So what stats do we actually like? We like double damage, right? And who doesn't like double damage? So let's just say we really like double damage. And we give it a weighting of 2. Max life. It's kind of good, but it's not like the best. So we can put it at like... 0.5 maybe for a weighting and then we like what else do we like we like intimidate right intimidate so that's probably going to get a weighting of three and all of this like is just random weighting right you don't really it doesn't really matter what it is it really just comes down to your build and what you want 
So you like percent strength, that should be pretty good. So let's put that at a weighting of roughly percent strength, like two. All right, so right now we have all of these things that we want. And Lethal Pride is a little bit different because there's so many good things that you could possibly want. And now you want to select, deselect all of the notables. So what this means is that you want to choose the notables that you'll be pathing into. So you have Acuity right here. So we want to deselect them so we can choose it. So two points are usually generally very good. So obviously people usually take the life here. This is also good for two points. Inveterate is okay. Some people take this thing because they can path there. And then I think this thing can be chosen if you have a massive thread of hope. And right here, you can't take that thing, right? It's too far away. And that's pretty much it, right? You don't really want to be taking stuff over here unless you're playing bow build or something. And then that's a little bit different. And then these are kind of all too far away. Some people do take this if they play cold conversion, tornado shot. But let's just say you wanted to choose these nodes because these are the nodes that you feel like that you could actually reasonably get to. You could also choose this one right here. So now we search it up, right? And then now it knows everything that we want. And wow, so there, so let's just say like when we go to the config again, we don't want to see so many, right? So we want to see the minimum weighting. These will show the best ones and there's still a lot of them. So let's just choose um, back to the config because we want to generate the search threat parameters, right? We don't want a billion of them showing up. And yeah, so this is probably still a lot. So right now we see we have a lot. So you can press this button over here and this will take you to the trade website and you'll see, whoa, 150 divines? Dude, that is kind of crazy. Now imagine if you had a live search activated and this one of these bad boys actually popped up, right? So let's see, is there any offline? So yeah, 1.5 meters. Wow, this one is nuts. What does this thing do? So this thing has double damage, percent strength, 15% double damage, 5% strength, 10% chance to intimidate. Oh my goodness. I think I just, I can't even contain my excitement from this jewel. This jewel actually exists. Wow, that is so pretty. Okay, but all jokes aside, as you can see here, there's four different names, right? So you put count one, and that means when it searches this, it'll search for anything here that has one of these parameters. So if you don't really know, there's different ways. It's kind of like and, if, then not so and includes everything count you can choose how many you want out of these and this is a very very important search tool so right now you might say oh man you have a lot of these so let's just put it at weight of nine so i don't think you can generate the trade site right so when it generates the trade thing oh it actually can generate a lot of these so this is every single mod that has a weighting of nine so you can see here you have one name and then you can search it and well, some of these are kind of underpriced, or maybe they're not as good. One, two, four, two, six. And you can see there's actually some really good ones up there that you can snipe for kind of cheap. I don't really know how much, how good this one is. One, two, four, two, six. But let's see. Can we actually find one, two, four, two, six on here? But it's probably just a lower weighting. So we could also try to make it so it's 10, right? So 10 would probably make it a very, very good jewel. And there's only like a couple of these. So now we could actually do the trade. So let's do a trade. And this, and this one will pretty much put down all the ones that you can see. And if it can fit it all, it'll do it all in one grouping. So this is every single different name. And I think there's a certain account, a search limit for the amount that you can actually have. So this one is one, two, three, four, five. So it's five times four, 20 searches, right? So if you want to make it so it's all done like this and you don't need to have separate searches, make sure to just increase the weighting. So let's go see what this actually shows up. And you can see there's some like decent value ones that you could potentially buy, like eight divides, eight divides, 10 divides, one, five, six, eight, seven. So this one might be a little worse. So this one is one, two, three, 15% double damage. This is actually pretty good, right? Because a lot of people take these nodes and yeah, but you have inveterate and a lot of people don't take that. So this one, if you're playing like a ranger build or something like that, or any build over here, 15% double damage, 10% strength is just nuts. And then you have the better ones over here. And the nice part about this is you can search it right here and eventually someone's going to put a jewel up and they're not going to know what it costs. And if you're online all day because you just have nothing better to do, then you could theoretically search it up and be able to do a live search. So what you do is say you go here and then you activate live search. And as soon as someone shows up, you can whisper them immediately and buy it. So that is pretty much how you can snipe it and use the tool 
to be able to look up the perfect timeless jewel for yourself. Now, as I said, how do you make money? And you want to set up a few of these live searches. Now, a lot of these live searches will depend on your knowledge of builds. Like, I don't know every single build in the game. So obviously, there's some that everyone knows are really high value. You can do the Ranger one right here. This one can also be a Brutal Restraint with percent dex for deck stackers. There's also the Lethal Pride here for strength for a lot of builds. And then there's also like Double Damage, Lethal Prides up here and here for any uh, lightning conduit builds there's a rarity one right here of elegant hubris and this one i have which is 120 percent rarity there's actually an elegant hubris of 160 percent rarity but it does require an anoint so there's a lot of different ones that you can potentially do and a lot of this just comes down to build knowledge the more builds you play the more you learn about which timeless jewels are good for which builds the more you can leverage this tool and create a lot of different live searches now, another way you can do it is you can try to resell your jewels on TFT and you pretty much have to either resell it or wait for someone to know what it's worth. So a lot of people actually take their jewels over here and there's a section here called want to sell timeless jewels, legion jewels right here. So oh, this is bulk legion jewels. Well, I don't even know where it is. Oh, softcore trade. It's somewhere here, right? Uh, legion jewels. Oh yeah, want to sell legion jewels. So you can see there's a lot of people selling it here and you can probably sell it for a lot more depending on uh, a lot of people write it all out. Not sure what's actually better, but if a lot of people use this tool, technically they'll be able to find your jewels. So maybe this video can create some exposure. And just to say like how profitable this can be, I actually bought a rarity timeless jewel for three divines and I later resold it for 30 divines. There's a lot of people I saw that sniped the jewel and resold it for 100 divines or 90 divines it's just that crazy now the reason why this happens is because a lot of five-way runners actually dump their jewels into a dump tab or people who do any runs or they just uh, do any five-way you just have so many jewels here eventually someone i just priced that one divine someone's going to put a jewel up that could be worth a lot and you could potentially snipe it now if a lot of people are whispering them at the same time then it's obviously not going to work so it really just depends on who's online at the time and how many people are actually looking for that jewel. Now, overall, I do think that Timeless Jewels are one of the best additions to the game and is one of the biggest power spikes. And look at this. This was back in the day when there's a 7556 aura cluster and it gave 48% aura effect for 7 points. And this is just a video in the past that people used to do in order to showcase what the jewel actually gave. And this jewel was actually crazy. Or aura stackers, it was the best jewel that was ever really divine. And just look at that. So much aura effect. And this tool pretty much streamlines the whole process and makes searching for any timeless jewel a super smooth or smooth experience. So I'll put the link to this tool. And hopefully, me going through searching a timeless jewel has helped you out in understanding how to use the tool and maybe potentially making a bunch of money and making your build stronger. But thanks for watching, everyone. Let me know down in the comments down below. What are some other good timeless jewels that you think could be some high value for searching besides the rarity one and the double damage ranger and duelist ones. But thanks for watching everyone. I hope you find more mirrors, exalts, and mage bless than me. And see you next time. Bye.